Hello, Christy Hartman here. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to play with small gel plates today. We're going to play with a 5 by 7 This one is a 3 and a half by, I think it's 6 and a half. And then this one is a 3 by 5 This is a stencil of mine by PM Artist Studio, and this is called Garden Doors. I thought the first thing we'd do today is develop some pattern in the background. And I thought we'd use this one which is Geopoly, which is actually a smaller cut of the bigger Geopoly, and it's a special request one, and it's on their website. You can get it. But it has great pattern in this stencil, and it's going to fit perfectly. Even though this is a 9 by 12, I can still use it on my 5 by 7 inch plate. So I thought we'd start with this Lucas Krill Naples Yellow. We'll pull this off. We're going to use the same section of the stencil, only we're going to flip the stencil so that we get a different pattern, just like that. And then we're going to go over it with this PBO Pink. Let's lay this Geopoly down one more time. Let's use this PBO fluorescent. This is what our layers are going to look like. Let's use these two paint colors. They'll ombre together in a really nice way. I'm going to use my six inch brayer. The other advantage to a smaller plate is you can use half a sheet of paper. This is that longer three and a half by six and a half Dina Wakely. And let's just go with the same stencil, used a different section of it, and let's do some pink. Let's pull that off. Move my stencil. I'm gonna use this 357. And we'll let that dry. With the Lucas Krill. We're going to use the center of this stencil because I want to change up the pattern just a bit, especially because this is a more opaque paint. Pull that off and let's take a look at what this one's going to look like. And let's ombre these two colors together, which is fern and olive green. How about this very little one? Let's use the other side of this. Believe me when I say you can do as much with a small gel plate as you can with a large one. There's just not quite as much real estate. This little one Let's pull with Lucas Curl Arctic and Indigo. I don't know. That's a pretty nice looking print. Let's review what we did. We talked about how a small plate can be just as efficient and it can be just as exciting as a large plate. For those of you that maybe don't have a large plate, you can use your stencils that you would use on a large plate. You can also use them on a small plate. You just have to be aware of the pattern. If the pattern is too big, it could overwhelm your plate. A small pattern, even if it's a 9 by 12 inch stencil, will work beautifully on a small plate. An example of that are these three. On a small plate, you can figure out how to do lots of different unique techniques that maybe on a large plate might use up too much paint, you might need a larger brayer, lots and lots of reasons why a small plate 
is just as efficient as a big one. We're again going to use sunflower doors. And I'm thinking dioxazine purple. And remember, this is open, so we'll have a little bit longer working time. Let's pull this stencil off. Let's grab my print. Position this right over the top. Okay, I'll be back when we're ready to pull this. This is the second technique that I want to share with you is in the last one we printed the negative image of the stencil. Right now we're going to print the positive image of the stencil. We're going to use this little one. This is my 3 by 5 inch plate. We're going to use anthraquinone. And that's the way it's going to look. When I began looking at this print, I thought that it would really benefit from a little bit of definition. So I'm using my white Posca pen and I'm outlining the details. Mostly I'm freehanding it, but if you're not comfortable freehanding, you can always put the stencil over the top like so, especially in some areas where I'm actually missing some parts and pieces. 